Hi everybody, my name is Kevin. I'm the CEO of Butterfly Australia. As many of you know, close to one in 10 Australians will be touched by an eating disorder in the course of their lifetime. But tragically, only 25% access care. And that's a statistic that at Butterfly, we're dedicated to change. Whether it be through preventing body image issues occurring as young as seven or eight in our schools, or pushing back the boundaries of treatment and innovative care. These are all things that Butterfly wants to bring about change with through conversation. Now there are many barriers to seeking care in Australia, and we don't want Butterfly to be one of those, which might seem like a really strange thing to say when you're the CEO of Butterfly, but we've had some feedback that over the last 10 years our brand has not evolved, and perhaps it's no longer accessible to everybody we serve. For example, some of the imagery is a little bit feminine, and the colouring is also feminine. And we do know that a quarter of eating disorders actually occur in men, so it's not really appropriate. We don't want Butterfly to be seen as a barrier to change. So we reached out to our stakeholder community. We reached out to multicultural groups across Australia, to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander groups, to the LGBTQIA community, and to consumers, carers and clinicians alike and we listened to what they had to say about our brand and how it might evolve. On a positive side, we heard a lot of great things about how we have been a conversation for change in Australia and brought about change, whether it be new Medicare items or the possibilities of residential care for those in need. But we also heard that our brand was not accessible to all. So we worked with those stakeholder groups to evolve the brand. The image you see now is still a butterfly but the colours are bolder and stronger and less gender specific. We've evolved the wings to essentially be speech bubbles, to have a conversation about eating disorders. So come on Australia, let's talk about eating disorders. Let's talk about stopping a child as young as seven or eight from developing body image concerns. Let's talk about new and innovative treatment models. Let's talk about whether our clinicians are adequately skilled to both recognise and treat an eating disorder in Australia. Let's talk about everything that needs to change and change with us.